Hello everybody, welcome to this leaf cutter update. I have had a few people, quite a few people requesting me to do another Ada Mexicano leaf cut update and especially someone like Tucker Ants. Tucker Ants, who even knows his name at this point? So um yeah, let's look at the leaf cut ants. <laughs> At this point, I hope many of you actually know what the leaf cutters are looking at, uh, looking like. At this point, I haven't really shown the leaf cutters in forever. Well, I did a little update not that long ago when they were busy cutting leaves, which they surely are not on this particular evening. But, but, but... Hello, guys and girls. How are you hanging in there? Uh, they still have another day before they start escaping, so uh, let's not put any escape prevention on that. This is the leaf cutter ants. I got these girls from Ant Antics. So long ago, they are living in these two pots and a little trash pot, which is currently a fungus pot. It goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It keeps going up and down. I've had my first issues with the Wakushi leaf cutter pot. I've had no issues for I don't know how long, but now it's hot glued, baby. What's happened down here? Well, let me explain. The other day, there was like three workers just chilling down here. And I was like, bros, what are you doing? And they were like, oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was our home. So I blew some air on them. Did they go crazy and escape? No, they walked home again. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to hot glue this. Now, because me and Wakushi are actually talking quite often, I, of course, let him know of the problem. And he said that, um, well, the next leaf cutter generation part is still in the works. <laughs> so I have to deal with this. But he did say he could send some replacement gypsum so I could actually fill out the hole. This is an issue that happened because the pot is drying. The gypsum block inside is expansion. It's drying, so it's getting smaller and expanding and getting bigger and bigger and bigger and smaller, bigger and smaller, bigger and smaller. And because there's an open airflow where you, of course, add the water, the water will <laughs> see through and the air will also say <laughs> back. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, that's that's why this is happening, and of course, in the next version, this won't be a problem. If there was just a little mesh here, it wouldn't be an issue, but then there are some other issues, which, well, Wakushi is the nest designer. All I know is I'm going to get the very secret gypsum, and I can actually mix it up, and I can start finding out what it is, and I can tell it everywhere online, and I can make the new Wakushi nest, and I can take Wakushi and just say, over there in the dirt, and I'll be the new Wakushi from next year, because I have the secret mix. I don't know if it's a secret mix, or it's just a standard mix. Either way... How is the colony doing? That's a whole lot of nothing. As you can tell, I'm in a good mood today. This is the colony. <whistles> this down here is the colony. You can see here we have two Wakushi pots with some, yeah, hot glue down there. The queen is located somewhere in here, I believe. Actually, we have had some issues up here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm actually mistaken. We've had issues in the past. Um, I don't, I don't know if these were, I don't think these modules here were silicone because this was one of the first ones sent out. Yes, this is actually one of the first modules in reality I, I can i can i can probably sell this once it's been used both because it's one of the first what well, should really put like a number not double number one unit if it's like the first um definitely work wor definitely worth the work uh, but yeah they are looking beautiful and pretty much i had to um no, actually i think i think it's because i reused one of them and when i cleaned it out i had a hard time like making a good i don't know Either way, I've put some tape around to make sure it wasn't it was safe. I don't think I've actually had any scabies, but I was just unsure. I've had a lot of problems with this setup in the past with the old layout that were all the way over there. So I've I've had so many escapes in the past that now it's completely safe. And I hadn't had any escapes actually in in forever, even though we have a setup over here where the ants can just crawl out, cram, crawl out. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the colony is actually at the moment. At the moment, doing very nicely. We have a little larvae here on tour. Hello there, larvae. Um, they have right now two complete funguses. Um, I have not seen the queen in forever. I'm just looking. No, it's not the queen. The queen is definitely, I think she's over in this one. I haven't seen her in forever. She's, uh, well, she's still alive. I can, I can tell you that much. I actually haven't looked at these ants in forever. I've just been so busy with, like, dirt. Um, that I've actually not taken a proper look at these for so long. Um, although... Sometimes they are very happy and they eat a lot and then they have a fungus chamber in here. Sometimes they're very sad and they're like, hang on, let's just remove both of these and just kill them and just remove them. Right now they're happy, but you can also see that they're getting to get a little bit there. Uh, a little bit like, oh, hang on, no, let's just, let's just put trash in here. And when that happens, they'll take all of this fungus and just <coughs> dump it all. Um, but right now we do have a little bit of fungus. 
Ideally, I would like to change the setup up with the new Makushis. The, the, the new pots are, of course, square shaped and they're uh, a lot more secure and all of these fabulous things and all of this good, good, good. Let's see it when we get it. Right, guys. Right, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a happy man today. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, ideally, I would like to one day have like one, two, three, four fungus pots and something and maybe a trash pot. But the thing is, this colony size right here is perfect because when they grow bigger, they want to escape more. Right now, they don't want to escape that much. You can see we have workers all around always trying to escape. Um, but by applying a barrier a few times a week, it's it's all right. Um, and that's actually led me to not having escape in forever. Even though down here, we have like a water mode that's definitely not working. There's a stick over here just to say how little this is working because they can use the stick to actually get out. Should we change that? <laughs> Changed, fixed. It's perfect, it works again. Um, yeah, I have put these a uh, water mode on rocks because if they were to escape down here they would like be oh hang, hang, who put this water here hang on hang on oh uh, and then they would go over here to and they would take the jump oh what the thing is when they take the jump they forget to put out a scent so they forget to tell all the others to take the jump as you can see this is spot cleaned i mean cleaned this yesterday and all of this dust have actually come since yesterday believe it or not it may not be true um so yeah, the, the the thing with this is just because if they were to escape and just walked away, they would make a line because that have happened in the past. And because there's this, they can't just, they can't jump. So they have to accidentally fall down and then they don't make a line. They may like make a line of all of the ants that fall, but they won't make like a trail. Um, so that is the thing. Up here, it's of course just a fish wire holding it. And we have escape prevention from here all the way to around here. I think this is where I stop. Um, and then they have to go to all the way to get out. Uh, they have escaped this way once because I never saw them actually testing the barriers. They are never testing the barriers, but one day they were like, hang on, he's not seeing us testing the barriers all night long, so let's just escape, and they escaped. It hasn't happened since, and I'm keeping an eye on it. And um, when they are hungry, we also, also have a circle of death here. It's not that strong, but it comes here pretty much every single day. Guys, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let me just resolve that. Wow, they're strong. Wow, they're strong. I pushed that down quite hard. Who's holding on to this so strong? Who, who's this? Wow, guys. You don't need this stick. Hang on. I can. What if I. Have someone grab. Someone grab onto it. They are not grabbing onto it. Oh, all of the hard work. All of the hard work. Either way, the way you get leaf cutters off is simply just by doing this. They are very easy to remove. They're like Mr. Barbers. Easy to remove, fun to play with. Yeah, so this is the setup. I mean, it's just it's, it's a simple, like, what, uh, Ants Hood said at one point, where did you buy this? It's so poorly handmade. It's just like, here, here's a piece of acrylic. I didn't have a, an acrylic saw or something. I can't even, I don't know how I actually cut this. But it's not, it doesn't feel nice. I cut it in a very easy way. Uh, it, it's, it's, it doesn't look pretty. But when you do like this, it looks very pretty. Um, they also have trash here. I remove it once it gets a little bit too big. It takes ages. It's nice. It's it's not nice. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's many things to say about this. It's a very nice colony. It's from Ant Antics, and I got them a long time ago. I mean, I pretty much documented their growth until I stopped growing them anymore. I like the size. They they give, they make cool videos. You see the cool things. If I grow them bigger, they'll just want to escape more. And you get the same. So why grow them bigger while they want to escape more? And when they escape, it's worse. But Or, or just keep them small like I am. I'm, I'm not keeping them small, small, but I'm keeping them at a reasonable size where you still be able to like sit here and enjoy like all of these cool things. So yeah, it's a colony I really like. And with that, I've now done a little update. Oh, by the way, this tub over here is also cracking. So we have put some sellotape on it. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you for all of those who've requested to, uh, for me to make this little update. It's now been made. Um, tuck ants, tuga ants, I just want to give a little shout out to you in case people don't know. If you like these like simple, raw ant haul of extra channel videos, uh, be sure to check out tuga ants, tuck ants. He's in the middle of changing the name. He was called the ant guy before, um, but I pretty much explained to him, well, you know what, if you, wanna, if you want people to be able to find you by searching the ant guy, good luck. Um, <laughs> so yeah, he, he's... We've, we've talked quite a bit. He's a very nice guy. And uh, yeah, be sure to check him out. He's making similar videos to me, uh, maybe even more energetic. Well, today I'm very happy, but generally he's quite a bit energetic. So yeah, be sure to check him out. Also, thank you very much for watching this entire video. Be sure to check out Bakushi if you want some leaf cutter pots. 
this has been running for two years, so it makes sense that there are these small issues now. And of course, it's not meant to be run for two years. Well, um, I may say some things that are not directly correct here, but just wait for the next version and all of these issues that are very small issues. I haven't had any escapes from this. So it's very small issues, but uh, yeah, they will probably be fixed. Um, hopefully. Uh, you could also just put a cap here, and then if they were to escape, it wouldn't be a problem. But uh, when my Mesobarpers escaped a few years ago, I sucked them up. I lost one of them, and I sucked the other one up. Um, that's me. It's an honest mistake. Yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm just talking on for this point. Uh, be sure to check out Antix. If they're still selling these, I think they are. Maybe they're out of stock. It's not really leaf cutter time right now. It's winter. It's getting winter. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching this video. Bye!